I've been thinking about camcorders recently because I want something that's simple, set up, ready to go so I can produce more YouTube videos without the faff of taking everything out of the bag, setting it all up, getting the lighting right. I just want something that's pretty much there on a stand in the corner of the room, ready to go. And because I work with a lot of my photography equipment, it's not really convenient for me to be leaving it out just like that the whole time because stuff needs to be packed and good to go. So after a bit of research, I decided that this was going to be the camera that I was going to try. Now, this is what it will be called if you buy it in the States or if you get it over from the States. So in fact, this was from Adorama and this is classed as one of the best sub, they say $500, but looking at a couple of hundred pounds, really. And the reason I wanted this one will become clear shortly, but B&H and Adorama typically were competitive on the price. It was about $299. That's with tax. Don't be fooled if you're a UK buyer and you're not too experienced. Their prices are always plus tax. It's the same all over America and it depends what you're buying uh, as to what your final price will be. But just remember that because you don't want to be caught out missing another $30. We got it from Adorama because for the same price, they included a bundle of things. They included an SD card, turns out to be a class 10, 16 gig card, so that's very handy. They included a memory card case. I, was, I actually saw a nice memory card case in there and put it back because when I saw this, I thought, no, nah, this will do. Uh, let's see if we can open it up. You've got three slots there for your sd cards and another three there it's a very simple case but that's what you need nice and small so that was cool also it came with this kit here which may or may not be of interest to you it's got some cleaning lens cleaning fluid bizarrely it's got a lipstick thing here it seems like a nice little brush perhaps for cleaning the lens that's probably what that's for lens blower uh, lens cloth, two screen protectors in there, so pretty cool. Earbuds, squeegee card screen protector. Oh, so you put the screen protector on and you push out the bubbles with that. Lens tissue, really I like the case. I mean it was just a bonus anyway, but I like that little case. That might come in handy, definitely. But what I was most impressed with, with the extras, I'm going to get now and show you. Because on their website, it was just a cheap old bag. But this is what I got. A low pro bag. This is a wonderful bag. This is worth a lot of money as it is. You got a pocket there. You got straps, which I've got hidden around in there. You've got a couple of slots there. That all comes out as well. So you can just use the entire cavity of the bag. You've got more pockets in there than you can shake a stick at. You've got bottle pockets on the side. You've even got the all weather uh, rain cover inside there. The mark of it, the model number I should say is the Nova Sport 7 litre all weather. So that's gonna cost you $50 as it is or more if you're in, if you're in England. So considering it looked like a cheap old cannon bag they were going to give me, and I got a low pro, that was a big bonus. I can't promise they're going to give you that. That might have been an accident. So let's take a look at the camera itself. Typically, you've got dealer record guarantee. You've got package contents, which explains you've got the HD camcorder. We've got the R600. You've got a battery pack, compact power adapter. Remember, that's going to be probably for the states if you've bought it from there or had it sent over usb cable hdmi cable and a startup guide the main manual is online but that's super easy to get but i would recommend checking that out so inside you've got the battery there's the battery pack now i just used a simple adapter uh, for that let me show you that so i've used this adapter these are on ebay for a couple of quid nice and simple and that works because I've charged the battery once just for the purpose of this video. Then the HDMI cable that we mentioned. 
and the USB cable. So that's all the bits that you get. But we want to see the main event. The actual camcorder, well packed. There it is. So this is the actual camera itself. It's a nice small size. I've got small hands. They're not angry hands, as a few people have said. I don't know anything about that. So what we have here on the top, 32 times optical zoom, HD CMOS lens, optical image stabilization. So you've got the zoom in and out there. You've got a hand grip, which is adjustable. And they recommend make sure you can get hold of these comfortably. Tighten it in and you're away. Branded by Canon, of course. On this side, again, just explains the uh, model number. There's the front. Now, it's a 2.8 to 89.6 mil lens. And on the side here, you can open and close it. Make sure you do that before trying to shoot or it's just going to be pointless. Start and stop on the side. Your power in is down there. And on the back is where your battery goes in. So the battery... You just line it up and it clicks into place there. And then what I've learned, if I open it, it will, there I am, it will kick in. But let me just show you what we have in here. It explains the uh, features that it has, but you've got an on off button there, so you can turn it off while it's open. Playback mode. Now this is what swung it for me. I wanted the cheapest best quality camcorder that allowed for external mic. Then you've got your AV out, so you can put your headphones in there and listen them back. HDMI out, USB. This is a nice little feature. It's where your SD card goes. So you just flick it there, put it in at an angle, and you're away. In fact, let me show you how to do that. Get that slot there. Slowly put it in until little click. Then pull the cover back, and you're away. Now, in the setup procedure, which I can show you shortly, you can make sure you initialize the card before you use it. That's key. But I just thought I'd show you what the camera looks like. How can we compare the size? Well, here is an iPhone 6. So it's shorter than an iPhone 6. Of course, it's fatter than an iPhone 6, even in its cover. So that gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Doesn't weigh a fat lot. All those sort of measurements are on the website, so I don't need to tell you that. But I've got this primarily for quick YouTube work. In another video, if you want to see it, I'll show you how to set it up. So that's basically it. I'm happy with the goodies I got with it, especially the, the low pro bag which clearly is more than enough. I wouldn't do it, but I could even get the camcorder in the side pocket. Definitely not going to do that. But potentially I could get it even in this tiny little pouch here. Doesn't offer a lot of protection, but it offers enough. So nice. If you have any experience with this camera, leave a comment below. Give us some tips. Uh, forgot to mention the bottom where you have the battery release. You pull that and the battery's away. Actually, that makes it easier to get in there instead of trying to get it to click in. Just pull it back, slide it in, and you're away. All important tripod mount. Very standard. You'll have no problem with that at all. So yeah, uh, as I say, let me know if you have any tips for me of what I need to do to get this working well. I think I'm going to try out portrait mode because that's really what I'm in interested in. Shooting myself, talking waffle about geeky stuff. Um, without everything else being in focus. And of course, it doesn't have the same control as a digital SLR, but we're going to see how we get on. So let me know if you want to see the setup or if you've got any tips for me. I forgot to uh, show you that turning around, but that's standard practice on a camcorder. Right, take it easy. Thanks for watching.